All right, then, my friends, so all this is working pretty nicely now, and we're keeping our front end data or state in sync with the database using React context so that whenever we add a new workout, it updates in real time over here as well as in the database, and we don't need to refresh the page anymore to see that new one. Now, what I'd like to do is figure out how we can delete these individual workout items, and to do that, we'll be placing a little delete button in the top right corner of each one of these workouts, and when we click on that, we need to send a delete delete request to the API, which in turn is going to communicate with MongoDB to delete that document. But also what we need to do after that has happened is we need to update our global state, our global workout state to delete that item from it as well. So we'll be using a dispatch function to do that with a different kind of action. So we'll see how to do all of that in this lesson. So then the first thing we need to do is create a button inside the workout details components so that when we click on that button, it tries to delete that particular workout from the database. So what we'll do is create a span at the bottom of this div right here, this workout details div. And inside that span, we will say delete. And also, I'm gonna give this an on click handler, which is equal to a function, I'm gonna call handle click. Now we need to make that function up here as well. So let's do that, we'll say const handle click is equal to a function and inside that function we want to basically communicate with our API. Now what I want to do is make this asynchronous so I'll say async right here so we can use await inside of this function and then I'll say const response is equal to await then and we want to send a fetch request now the endpoint is going to be forward slash API forward slash workouts but then also forward slash the id of whatever document that we want to delete so we have access to that because we have access to the workout as a prop so i can just concatenate to this string workout dot underscore id and that will be the id of that particular workout and that will be appended to the end of this endpoint right here so we're sending um, a request to that now we need a second argument right here, an object to say what type of request it's gonna be, or the method rather, and it's going to be a delete request. So then the backend knows to handle this as a delete request, and it's gonna try and delete that then from the database. All right, so then I'm gonna say const JSON is equal to await response.json. Now remember, when we get a response right here, we have JSON data on it, and that JSON data, in the case of a delete request, is gonna be the document that was just deleted. So we have that document that was just deleted right here. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is make sure that the response is okay and that nothing was wrong, because if it wasn't okay, then we don't want to then start deleting things from our global context state. So what I'm gonna do is a little if check to say, if the response is okay, then do something and it's inside here then that we want to dispatch some kind of action so that we can update our workout context state now we don't yet have a case for deleting any items from the workouts so we'll flesh that out in a second but first of all let's import the use workouts context hook inside this file at the top so import use workouts context from hooks use workouts context and then we can use that right here to grab the dispatch function. So let's invoke this. All right, so now down here, we can dispatch an action. So the type in this case is gonna be, what should we call it? Delete workout. All right, and then also the payload is gonna be the workout that we want to delete from the state. So that can just be this JSON we get back because remember, that is the document we just deleted from the database. So we're dispatching this action right here, but now we need to handle that dispatch in this workout context file inside this reducer. So let's do another case down here to handle that. So we'll say case and then it's delete underscore workout. And then when that's the case, we need to return a new object whereby the workouts property is something new. Now what I'm gonna do is basically filter through the current workouts on the current state before we make this change. So I'll say the new value is the state, the previous state, 
dot workouts to get the workouts array and then we're going to filter through the workouts so we fire a function for each workout and we return true if we want that workout to remain in the new array and we return false if we want to take it out of the new array so we fire a function for each one and we return true or false for each one now each time we fire a function we get access to the individual workout in this workouts array so we can use that now to check if the id of that workout is equal to the id of the one that we want to delete so i'll say w dot underscore id is not equal to the action dot payload which is the workout we pass in right here the one that we want to delete dot underscore id so where they're not equal then we want to keep those particular workouts in the array. So now we should be left with the workouts minus the one we delete right here, okay? So, phew, I think that is pretty much all we need to do. Let's save this and try it in the browser. All right then, so let's give this a whirl. I've got to open the console as well, just in case there's any errors and we can see those. So I'm gonna try deleting this top one. So if we delete that, then we can see it goes from here, that's awesome. And if we refresh as well to do a refetch, we can see that it's gone as well. So it obviously has been deleted from the database too. Awesome.